What's up, y'all? What's going on? You know the Lord has been good to me. I'm having me a carb festival today, y'all. Everything I'm fixing is going to have carbs. I wish I had some veggies. Well, well, I'm about to fix some rice. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? What's going on? What's poppin', Cynthia? Georgia, how you doing, Miss Curtis? What's going on? What's going on? My day's going good so far. I'm sweating up in this kitchen, though. No doubt. Miss Maggie, the substitute teacher. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures pressed down, shaking together, running over with the same measure you meet. Shall be measured unto you again. I really do appreciate you, sister. For those of y'all who don't know who Maggie, the substitute teacher, is, please go over there to her YouTube channel. And I guarantee you, you will see some beautiful things going on over there on her channel. And I really, really, really do appreciate you, Maggie. Thank you so much, my sister. You are awesome. And you will forever be awesome in my book. Y'all go check out Maggie, the substitute teacher. Thank you. Come on in, y'all. Come on in the room. All right, what I'm about to do now, y'all, I got me some rice. I'm going to do some rice real quick. I'm going to do some rice in the microwave, so I ain't going to hold y'all long. And I am going to do me some chicken in the air fryer. Yes, I am. And I'm going to show y'all what's going on real quick. So don't go nowhere, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Let me grab me a measuring cup. And all right, so I got my measuring cup, y'all. I hope y'all are doing good. Y'all all are having an awesome and wonderful day. Kim Miller in the building. What's up, Kim? What's going on? Brunel is in the building. What's up, Brunel? Oh, man, where is my knife? What's going on? Everybody's in the building. Everybody, he say, just checking, checking in. Come on in. Come on in. You are welcome up in this here place. Come on in. So I got me some rice, y'all. I'm going to do at least round about. It's only two people that I'm cooking for. That's all. I'm cooking for two people. And I'm just going to do two cups of rice because I can always save some rice for tomorrow. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? You feel me? So, two cups of rice. Yes, going in the microwave. And I'm gonna add me some water. Up in here, up in here, up in here. I got two cups of rice, two cups of rice. But before I add water to this rice, I'm gonna toss in some seasoning. And the only seasoning that I'm going to add to this is some of this here, Kendall's, Kendall's blend. I'm just going to toss some up in there. Just enough will do. And then I'm going to also toss in some of this here, Weber's Herb Garden. And just enough 
will do. Yes. And I keep on saying and, Dana. Okay, so I'm going to toss in two cups of that water, and I'm going to grab about two more cups. Hold on. Come on, hello. Come on. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this here unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Never cook rice in the microwave. What? Oh, you in for a treat right now if you never cook um, rice in the microwave. Look, when you cook it on top of the stove, how many times do you got to go back and check it and check it and check it just so it don't stick to the pot? How many times? I'm just going to put about that much butter in. I like, my, I like buttery rice. How, how, much, how many times do you really have to continue to go over there by that stove to just check that rice? You know what I'm saying? Making sure that the rice don't stick and... All the other kind of stuff. A lot, Kim. That's what I'm talking about, Kim. So, Kim, with this right here, right? I'm going to show you something. So, I got this at rice. And I'm just going to toss it in that microwave. Yes, baby. Oh, good. Get in there. Yeah, in the microwave. And Kim, the first thing I do, Kim, is I set it for 15 minutes. That's the first thing I do. And then I leave it for 15 minutes. And then... um. And then, um, there we go. And then, Kim, what I do after the 15 minutes is up, I go and I just see if it needs to be fluffed out. I got to, you got to hold on for a minute here. I'm just having technical difficulties. Okay. So I go and I check it to see if it needs to be fluffed out after 10, 15 minutes. And then, um, after that, I hit 10 minutes. Let it cook for 10 more minutes. Total 25 minutes. But she done, though. She done. She done and she ready to go. I ain't got to slave over top of the stove, keep going and going back and forth to check it just to see if it's good. Hey, Miss Smith, how you doing? You say I could cook rice on top of the stove with my eyes closed and grits too. Oh my God, look, if you could do that with your eyes closed, by far you got me beat. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You really got me beat. You see how wide my eyes is? That's how my eyes gotta be if I cook it on top of the stove. I'm so serious. So, um, now what I'm going to do is this here chicken real quick. I'm going to try to set y'all up again. Bam. Okay. So, I know everybody got a recipe, man, for like air fried chicken or whatever the case may be. Hey, come on, y'all. It's easy stuff, man. It's easy stuff. There's no rocket scientist to nothing as far as it goes with this air fryer or whatever. It just makes things a little bit more convenient. So I got some chicken thighs, man, and in this chicken thighs, I already got it dressed up with some olive oil. Um, I'm not gonna use too many flavors, but if you know me, then you know I'm lying. But um, I got a little salt. When I say a little salt, all I want is just a little salt. That's it, you know what I'm saying? About a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna use some um, onion powder. Now with the onion powder, I just eyeball because you can't go wrong with the onion powder as far as measurement goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got garlic powder and I'm going to use some garlic powder in this too. And I'm just going to eyeball the garlic powder and we in the game. Matter of fact, you see that little, see how, how much that is in that little inch or that, go in there too. That ain't going to hurt nothing but that more flavor. You feel me? That ain't going to hurt nothing but that more flavor. So we're going to toss in some black pepper. A lot of black pepper because I love the peppery taste that I get with these chicken thighs. So, yes, a lot of black pepper. And I'm going to also toss in just a smidget of this here Cajun seasoning. Just a smidget. Just a smidget. And I mean just a smidget. That's going to do it right there. You don't want everything to be all salty, but that's it for that goes right. But anyway... Then I want to toss in some parsley. Yes, I did put some herb gardens in it. But hey, come on here. Come on, somebody. So, now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I, I, need a, I think I need a spoon. Yeah, I got one. So, I'm going to take some of this here garlic. I love this stuff, y'all. Y'all probably see this dang near in every recipe that I put in some minced garlic and red chili pepper. I just love that stuff. Take about a tablespoon of it. 
I really do love it, y'all. I don't know, but boy, I love it. You understand? Yes, and that is, y'all got to try this, man. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm going to tell you how much I love this, y'all. Look, I'm going to show you something. I always buy this garlic when, you know what I'm saying? I, I just love this stuff, man. It's so daggone good. It really is. It really is. How many of y'all ever tried that before? You know what I'm saying? Kimmy say, got to love that air fry. You better come on here. Hey, Miss Campbell. She say, I'm doing your smoothie turkey wing, turkey right now. Are you really? You better come on here and share, share with me now. You got, you got to share. Come on here, share with me. So now, let me move that fork out the way. Boom. I'm gonna use these hands to work all this in. This is only four thighs. Roll that sleeve up. Just want to work it in a little bit. Like I said, it's easy cooking, y'all. I mean, that's all we try to do these days, man. You want to chill. You want to relax and all the other kind of stuff, man. You don't want to be all in the kitchen all day, all night. And you know, how many of y'all remember? Kimmy, let me see if you remember. And um, Jacqueline, how you doing? Jacqueline, I want to see if you remember. You from Charlotte to Queen City? You better get it, girl. So how many of y'all remember Grandma and them back in the days? Especially on Saturday, Saturday night. Because grandma and them, they won't miss no Sunday school and they won't miss no church. And during that time, they had they done the prepared or getting started on Saturday, Saturday night. So when Sunday came around, only thing they had to do was just warm that baby right on up. And then you can go ahead and you could eat. You understand? So what I'm going to do now is I got my air fry basket. I'm not going to spray anything on this because they oiled up i'm just going to set them down in my air fryer basket and um y'all this is a new air fryer because the one that i had for so many years i mean it been with me for so many years y'all and it was like a fam where it is a family member and the little piece the handle broke from the basket and I mean, man, that was my baby. She she was the best as far as it goes with me. So I had to buy another one. But I refused to toss her in the trash. I can't toss her in the trash because who knows? I might have to pull her out again to make it do what it do for some of the um, stuff that I like cooking in the air fryer. So I'm just trying this one out right now. Hey, Miss Williams, how you doing? You said you do miss your grandma cook cooking. Miss Williams, um, Kim, you better say so. Let me put this bowl in the sink real quick. And strip this glove off. And, all right, I'm gonna strip the other glove off. I'm, I didn't use that glove for the chicken, so I could reuse that one. Oops, I'm in my own house, y'all. That's the only time I would use it, if I'm in my own kitchen. But, here we go. We're gonna go to the air fryer. And, I sort of kind of like this because it's Bluetooth. I can work this thing on my phone or whatever. It's, it's all right for the most part, but this is my first time ever cooking chicken in it. So it do have a icon for chicken and it say three, um, 380 degrees. And it also say for like 23 minutes. I don't know, we're gonna see what it do, but we're gonna use the shake, hit the shake button. That means in between time, get a beep to where I can shake the chicken as whenever but we're gonna go with this because i never cooked chicken thighs in it this is my first time ever cooking chicken thighs in this air fryer so i want to see what she gonna do is she gonna do the job that i needed to do or whatever the case may be but while i got the rice in the microwave okay and i got the chicken in the air fryer i'm gonna do something else i'm gonna do something else because i got to have something to go with that rice and what are we gonna do, Ray? Well, we're gonna do something. We're gonna make it do what it do, baby. Y'all remember Jamie Foxx said it. We're gonna make it do what it do, baby. All right. Whew. Let's see. Let's see. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Mm -hmm. Jesus is my doctor. And he Y'all, I'm having a carb fest. I'm telling y'all right now, man, I got, I'm having a carb fest. Everything that's going on my plate today is dealing with carbs. 
I know somebody say, hey man, that's too many cars. Where the where the collard greens and the cabbage and the black and the peas and all that? No, not today. We having a car fest today. Um, mm -hmm. what was I about to do? Oh, let me cut this light on up on this stove real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing, and I can see what I'm doing as well. All right, so anyway, anyway, I just had my pen. Bam. Mm -hmm. Come on in the room. Who else we got in here? What's up? And since you say, dang, bro. Hey, Stacy, what's going on? Is that Miss Patricia Brown? Miss Patricia Brown, what is up with you? What's going on, Miss Patricia Brown? How are you? How you feeling? How you doing? Man, that's... Cynthia Brown say, dang it. Why you want to say dang it, Cynthia? I got you. I got you. Cynthia, I got you, boo. We in the game. We in the game. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm not, what I'm going to do, I got to get my words together. All right, let me make sure I got my phone stand so I can have free hands. Now, I don't have my gloves on right now. And for you male critics, I tell y'all right now, don't y'all come here starting no junk. Talking about, dang, look at his nails. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't come here and start no jump because this is my kitchen. I'm cooking for me and mine. I ain't cooking for y'all. Don't come here talking about, dang, look at his nails. I work at an automotive garage, and I've been working doing garage work for well over 30 some years, and I'm happy about my hard-working man hands. Anyway, so let's go. Um, I need a spoon. I need a spoon. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this spoon that I had to use for that, that garlic. And I'm gonna show y'all something. How many of y'all remember that video that I posted a while back with that roux recipe? It was a dry roux. How many of y'all remember that? It was a dry roux recipe. Oh, wait a minute. That my girl, Nat, Nat is in the building. Natalie, what's up, girl? How you doing, Natalie? Natalie, you better tell me you doing fine. If you ain't doing fine, we got a problem. You better tell me that everything is going okay. If everything ain't going okay, then we got a problem. I don't want no problems, Natalie. You better tell me, girl, what, what's up? Is everything good? I hope everything good. All right. Mike, what's going on, Mike? What's up, um, Tracy Franklin? How y'all feeling? Mellow in the building. What you cooking, boss? I'm cooking some um, air fried chicken. I got some rice in the microwave, and I'm about to make me something to um, jazz up the rice a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I might drizzle it over the chicken, too. Who knows? You know what I mean? But I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right now. How was church? Church was great, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand something. This was the message that came from church today. It says, the message was, rejecting is real. Rejection. Rejection is real. Re rejection is real. Boy, rejection is real. A lot of us, how many of y'all ever been rejected in life? Come on. You say you saw that video with the um with the roof flower. Let me show y'all with that roof flower. You know, that video with that roof flower is this. This is that same roof flower that I made back then, y'all. And it's still good today. And I leave this on my counter. All right? And I still use that. But I'm going to show you right now what I'm going to do with it. Okay? Rejection. How many of y'all ever been rejected? Hold the horses, y'all. Look here. Look here. Let me cut my oven off. Clear. Cut my light off. I want y'all to do me a favor, okay? There's a YouTube in here called Soul Food Kitchen. If y'all don't mind, please do me a favor. Go over and check out Soul Food Kitchen whenever you get an opportunity. Stroll up to Soul Food Kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And do a snapshot on your phone. Snap it, snap it, snap it. Because some of us, man, we forget. And then what you could do is just snapshot it, go back to your phone, and be like, oh, Ray did mention um, Soul Food Kitchen. Let me go back over here and see. Da -da 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 -da, and go check out some of their videos. And I guarantee you, what you see over there, you're going to like, man, because they're cooking some home good soul food cooking over there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you can, watch, watch the videos from beginning to end of anything. You feel me? You won't be disappointed. Now, let's say, I remember it. I'm good. You better be good, Natalie, because if you want good, we had a problem. I don't want no problems. You know I don't want no problems. 
Steven say I'm a big fan of yours. I just subscribed just a couple minutes ago just because I watched one of your shorts and it was Hey, thank you, Steve. Steve, welcome to the family, brother. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. One thing that I always say is that once you become a Ray Max family member, you're not a subscriber or anything like that. You are what it is. You are family. And each one of us here are brothers and sisters. <clears throat> so that's what we try to do. We try to treat each and every one um, the way we want to be treated. I might, I can't see you, but I know your energy is so powerful, and it, it, I have to draw, I have to draw from it. You understand what I'm saying? So welcome, welcome, Kill Williams. Say, I love your positive energy. Kill, I was just talking about that, Kill. Kill, I love your positive energy too, Miss Williams. Now you go ahead on, girl. You better stay, stay a while, Miss Williams, because I got something special for you. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna love what I'm about to show you. You're gonna love it, Cynthia. Cynthia say, but God never rejected me. Listen, Cynthia, listen. The whole key to rejection is knowing the fact that God rejected Israel because Israel disobeyed God and they wanted to serve other gods or whatever the case may be. So you are, you are constantly right. If God will never reject you if you stay in his good and perfect will, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Continue to stay in his good and perfect will. That's all he wants us to do. Soul Food Kitchen is the bomb. Say so, Matt. Say so. Oh, man. All right. So, my rice can beat up, y'all. Let me show you. Hold on. So, my rice went in the microwave and it been in there for 15 minutes. See, it got a little bit of moisture in there. I'm going to close it up. And I'm going to hit 10 minutes. And I'm going to let her ride. Another... I, I let her cook for 15 minutes. Now she cooking for 10 minutes. And we should be all right. We should be all right. So, now I'm gonna show y'all what I'm about to do right here, okay? I've been talking. I need to stop talking and get the business. Get the business. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Miss, Miss Javins 7806 is in the building. That's my sister from another mister. Girl, how you doing? How you doing? Jabba, how you doing? And I hope you're doing fine too. Yes, Lord. And she is a Ray Max family member. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. If any of y'all want to become a Ray Max family member, please go ahead and hit that membership. And I'm telling you, y'all, it's definitely going to be a blessing. It's going to be a blessing to many. I'm still trying to hit that mark because I want to be a blessing. I want us to bless somebody out here in these streets. And the only way that I could do it, if you're, a fan, if you're um, joining the membership, there's a goal that I want to hit. If I'm, if I'm able to hit at least $100 every month, I have to hit $100 every month in order to go out here, man, to like Walmart or something like that and see an elderly person and bless that person. And this is something that I'm not doing by myself. This is the reason why um, if you guys join the membership, and if we could if we could come together and make that thing happen i'm telling you man we could be a blessing to many 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 people and i'm believing god that it's going to take place it's it's going slow but i'm still believing that god is in the business and he's going to fix it and make a way for all of us to be a blessing to somebody this ain't just a ray mac thing i'm telling you this is a us thing and that's what i'm believing in right now it's a us thing so I'm gonna stop talking, y'all. What I wanna do is take some of this butter, right? This is um unsalted butter. And I wanna take at least round about, I'm gonna say that much, two tablespoons. And matter of fact, I wanna make enough gravy. So I'm gonna go with another two tablespoons. So if I do two tablespoons, I'm gonna go with two. I'm gonna go with uh, that's two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go with two tablespoons of my roux flour. One, and then that's two. All right. I'm gonna grab some water. All right, so 
I got my water. Now I got this on medium high heat right here, y'all. Okay? This is on medium high heat. And I just want to give this a stir. The air fryer is wanting me to shake over here. I got the shake and bake. I got the shake. See where it's saying shake? I got the shake, y'all. I got the shake. All right. Okay, air fryer. You better get in there. You better do your thing. 12 more minutes for that. Those chicken thighs. You better do it, air fryer. You better do it. And this right here, y'all, ain't going to take long. I trust and believe me. If you get that roof flower, see, look at this right here, look. Look at this color. Look at this color to that roof flower. Look at the color. If you get that roof flower prepared up and put it in a mason jar, you can sit that thing on your counter and it'll sit for months and months and months and months and it's still good. It'll sit up to a year, y'all. Listen, it will sit up to a year. I'm not playing with you. I'm serious as I could possibly be. It will sit on your counter for a year and won't go bad. So what I'm going to do now is I want to turn that heat down just a little bit because I want to spice this baby up. So what I want to toss in, some onion powder. Uh, where my garlic powder at? I want to toss in some of this here um, vegetable seasoning. It's a must that I toss in some of this here garlic pepper. It's a must. Then I want to toss in some of this herb garden. Now, since I got that, what I want to do now, I'm going to cut my stove up a little bit more, and then I'm going to take my water, I'm going to add just a little bit at a time. A little bit, micromanaging the water, y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all I want to do. So, just because I can, I want to throw in some onion. Just because I can. Just because I can, throw in some onion. And since I'm feeling like it, and really I don't feel like it at times, I'm going to put in just a little bit of chopped green peppers. Just because I can and I'm still gonna micromanage. Now, if you want to cook these onions and green peppers before this, hey, be my guest and do so. You can't go wrong, you know what I'm saying? But see how much water I'm putting in. I'm just dropping in about a tablespoon at a time. That's all I'm doing. Cause I want to judge the thickness of this here gravy. The flavor's already there. I'm not even gonna joke with you. The flavor's already there. It ain't really nothing else I have to do to this. I got my butter in here. I got that roof flour in here, and that roof flour is already cooked up. You see that? It's already cooked up. And then you can add your seasoning, and then you can just take your water just like this and add a little bit at a time. You know what I mean? And this goes good on some steaks, y'all. Going good on some pork chops. Hot tomato. Does it ever go good on pork chops? Get you some asparagus, some mashed potatoes, and some pork chop. And your pork chop, man, you can either pan sear it on top of the stove or throw it in your air fryer. Make some of this roux, roux gravy, just like I'm doing here without the veggies, and spoon that sucker over top of that. Boy, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Things are gonna happen up in there, up in there, up in there. I'm trying to tell you. Now, at this point, what I want to do, I want to turn my heat up to almost all the way up to the high point, just so I can get that rolling burl. Y'all ain't say boil, y'all, rolling burl. And once I get that rolling burl, I want to take a little bit of water. Because at this point, I want to make it thick. But I'm still judging it. I'm still judging it. And I want these onions to get tender just slightly. 
Still got my air fryer going. The microwave is going. The gravy is going. Now what I want to do, I'm just going to take a little bit. Just want to take a little bit and just taste it. I'm going to turn that heat down. Just want to take a little bit and taste it. That's all I want to do right now. Just take a little bit and taste it. Making sure that my flavors is all together, y'all. All together. Wow. Wow. I ain't got to do nothing else to this, y'all. You will not see me do nothing else to this. Now, I want to be honest with y'all. You guys are the first ones who ever seen me put onions in this. And you're the first one to see me put um green peppers in this because as long as i had this here root flour i just quickly make this on top of the stove and season it up and i put it on whatever you understand what i'm saying and i'm telling you y'all this is huh, tasting some kind of good right now now this it, it cooks quick if you do it without the vegetables you can have this prepared in five minutes now i'm gonna tell y'all something else that you could do with this here gravy man that'll blow the socks off of people's mind y'all and they'll think that you stay slayed up in that kitchen for at least two to three, four hours. You make this, you get you some rotisserie chicken. You tear that chicken up, right? You tear that chicken up. And hold on, I want to show you. You tear that chicken up. You can either get Nora's taco rice or you can get Nora's Spanish rice. Cook that on top of the stove. Mix all of this together. Woo. Jesus. Jesus. I call that Ray Max chicken and rice, y'all. So my rice is on. Um, microwave going off. Take a look at this here. Uh, see where we are with this rice. I'm going to just fluff it up a little bit. Ooh, that rice is steaming hot. It's steaming hot. That rice is steaming hot. Ooh. And she ready. See that rice is ready? I'm going to move this over to the side. Oh, that rice is ready. The rice is done. All right, so I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut her right on off. She off. She ready. I'm going to take her off the heat. Look how good that look. See how good that look? And it didn't take that long. That's how good that look. And the taste is off the chain. Taste is off the chain. It really is. I'm having a carb kind of meal tonight, y'all. Come on in the room. How many of y'all would try this here recipe right here? Huh? How many of y'all would try this? Let me get something to set that on because I don't want that back on top of the stove. All right. So, four minutes. I got a video showing y'all how to do these Cajun corn on the car. Just take it, take a peek. What I'm gonna do, I got in that pie pan. I love a pie pan. Pie pan just keeps, keeps it from dripping. I'm gonna bake that for about five minutes because my food is ready. I just want to reheat that. And my rice, let me make sure my rice is where I want it to be. She ain't, she ain't wet. No, ma'am. No, sir. No hard spots. Uh. Perfect. 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 All right. Now I'm gonna show y'all this. Mm. That's that gravy. That's that gravy. That's that gravy right there. That right there. That's that gravy. 
Can you smell that smell, Lord? We need smell a vision. And that right there, going into that right there, what? What? Who did so what? Matter of fact, this is what I'm about to do. Y'all hold on. I'm gonna take some of this right. A little bit right there. We're gonna get that in there too. I ain't about to waste no food. There's people around here starving. Take a little bit of that gravy. Yes, Lord. Ain't God good. Lord, thank you for this food. By the seed in Jesus' name, we pray. Ace man. Lord, mix it on up. That's a sample. That's what we call a sample. Mm, 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 mm. Good God. Mm, mm. Good God. Good God. Mm, mm. Y'all look. Y'all look. Oh, shit. Man, I messed up. The camera came down and told the towel. Get that fixed. Yeah, it's hot in here. Hot in this kitchen. Y'all, let me show y'all what just happened. I hope it didn't tear my camera up. I'm going to show y'all what just happened. Let me show y'all right now. I'm going to get a towel. <laughs> I don't want to use that. I'm going to show y'all exactly what just happened. Ooh. They overcooked my chicken. That air fryer overcooked the chicken, Shereen. Overcooked? She ain't like our back. Oh, she did good, though. Yeah, it did good. I'm gonna show y'all what just happened. And this is why you this is why you can't allow that that devil to steal your steal your peace of mind. Because he will. If calamity happened, just continue to move forward. So now I'm gonna show y'all what just happened. Excuse me. So I have my camera. Let me see if I can set this up real quick. Hold on. Ugh. That thing came down. I gotta make sure my camera ain't broke, boy. Lord, don't let it be broke. What's that? Is that something black on the floor right now? Did it go to your camera? Really? What's that black on that mat over there? That, that right there? I'm coming, y'all. Hold on. Oh, my camera's still functioning. Good. Okay. I can work with that. I'm still functioning. So, I'm sweating, y'all. Let me get me a rag real quick. They're hot in here. What you got on? The heat? Girl, I can't believe you got the heat on. And, this, and the kitchen is on. 
Dang. All right, let me show y'all what just happened. I got my camera. I had my camera sitting on top of this tripod, right? And while I was over here eating that rice, I hit that leg. The camera came down. My camera came down and hit my tile on the sink. Bam, just busted that up right there. It just did that. Busted that thing up, right? It just busted that up right there on that sink. I'm gonna share something with y'all real quick. I'm gonna share this with y'all. I could have easily cut this video off, right? I could have easily cut this video off and be like, y'all look, I got to go. Something just happened. I could have easily cut that camera off. But I did. And the reason why I didn't, because I ain't about to get that devil no glory. I came here for a reason. I'm going to continue to do this. You understand what I'm saying? So, that piece that broke right there. That's just a sign of God saying nothing lasts forever. My camera didn't break. Thank you, Jesus. But even if it did, nothing still lasts forever. Something that we got to remember in life. You know what I'm saying? Something we still got to remember in life. Even though that we're human beings and we got blood pumping in our veins. And we got air running in our, in our lungs. Remember this word. Nothing last forever not even our life you know what I'm saying so with that being said this can be fixed but when it comes down to things that's broken when it comes down to things that's broken and shattered in pieces some things just can't get fixed whether it's a relationship, if the relationship is over with and it's broken in pieces and, and it can't get fixed, then let it go and move right on. You understand what I'm saying? Just move right on. So I'm excited for the simple fact I can get this. I can get this fixed. That's no problem. But when it comes to someone losing their life, you can't come back from that. When it comes down to having a peace of mind, I'm telling you, you got to have that all the time. Not some of the time, but all the time. The only way that you can obtain a great peace of mind, you got to keep God in you. You got to keep God in you. I'm serious, man. Now, I'm not going to stand here and make it seem like I'm holier than thou, that I got it all together, that I don't make no mistakes and all this and that or whatever the case may be. I'll be fooling myself if I did. You understand? But I don't have it all together. I still make mistakes or whatever the case may be. But I'm thankful that I can still ask God to forgive me for the mistakes that I made. I'm looking at this tripod pole and I said to myself, now, I wish I would have took this thing down before I went live, but it happened. It's a done deal. We just got to worry about getting it fixed tomorrow. And this is not going to steal my joy. And I'm telling y'all something right now. This food still going to be good. But anyway, let me show y'all this real quick. My air fried chicken stayed in there just a little too long because I'm still trying to learn that new air fryer. First time I ever cooked chicken in that air fryer. It got me some crispy thing. Ooh, it still got me some good looking thighs right there. It do. It do. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take some of these thighs, that rice, that gravy, put it on the plate, and I'm going to have a ball. Now, over here, Cut this light on real quick so you can see. Bam. Over here, I got me some barbecue chicken that I whipped up, put in the, mic in the um, oven. Because my wife don't eat barbecue chicken. That's one reason why I put those in the air fryer so she can eat on them. And I got us 
two person pan mac and cheese. Those are mac and cheese shells. And I made some homemade candy yams. I mean, it's Cobb City. You know what I mean? It's Cobb City. And I know that one thing about it is, is that you're gonna eat or you ain't gonna eat, but I'm gonna eat. But right now I got to clean up. Then I got to call my man to ask him if he can come out to see if I can repair this thing. I'm hoping that he can replace it. But if not, you might have to throw some tile all over this thing for me. But we're gonna see. Hope is not lost. Not yet anyway. Not yet anyway. So you guys, you say, cat say, thank you, sir. I needed to hear that message today. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you and bless you as well. And um, I'm just looking at this stuff, y'all. Good God, it's in pieces, it's in shambles. Let me get this food up. I wish I had me some dessert. I need a pie or something up in here. I really do. What's that? Cherie, food ready to eat. Woo, I had to come up outside a little bit, y'all. It's a little toasty up in that place. Well, anyway, y'all come on with me real quick. Cause I got some things to do. Whew. Lord, have mercy. Can you say it's cold outside? Yeah. Let me have it right now, please. You better come on and get it. You better come on and get it. You better. Just putting her back in the yard. Oh, my, my, my. Say it's cold outside, girl. Who are you fooling? All right. So we got her. Ugh. Jesus. Oh yeah, let me show y'all something about my baby real quick. This my baby, man. Her name is Ruby. Uh, let me show y'all something real quick about Miss Ruby. Hold on. I got to call that man. See if I can get my thing. I'm gonna let y'all see something with Miss Ruby. Y'all check this out. That's my baby, Miss Ruby. I love that woman right there. See? Anything can happen, y'all. I can get in this car and tear this car all the way to pieces. I really can. And I love that car. And I'm going to be honest with you. If anything happened to that car, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. You just got to continue to live life and keep on moving. But when it comes down to an individual's life, I'm being honest with you, man. You can't bounce back from none of that stuff. So, this is what I need y'all to do, if y'all don't mind. 
love and not hate. <laughs> love somebody and hate nobody. Tell God thank you that you still have life, health, and strength on today. Because without him, none of us won't be able to make it in this world. All right, y'all? I love y'all to life, man. So continue to be um, great people, great folks, and do great things. This is your boy, Ray Mack. I'm out of here. I never know how you cut this thing off. I think that's one of the reasons why I never go live.